diseases must be freaking you out you would have realized that it's better if you can avoid getting these diseases to avoid getting these diseases you first need to understand why we got them in the first place bad health can lead to illness and disease you understand that now so how is bad health caused where does it come from can it spread if yes how can it spread these are the questions that we're going to answer diseases can be caused because of microscopic troublesome organisms called pathogens you met them before right viruses bacteria fungi parasites like roundworms protozoans like amoeba oh it's a big list or because there is some mutation or change in your dna causing the cells of the body to not function the way they normally do so there are two ways of getting it so those diseases that are caused by the pathogens are called infectious diseases because they can spread from person a to person b they can spread through the air they can spread through the water they can spread through direct contact so these are very dangerous diseases i'll give you a situation okay uh, let's just see let's take a situation you can tell me what happened over here there's this family living in a craft one room house there's a newborn baby in that house they give the baby water from the nearby stream there is a smoker in the house less money not much nutritious food for the baby this baby keeps on going to the doctor again and again and again for cold fever and loose motions here's another baby this baby has boiled water to drink lives in a cleaner environment eats nutritious food lesser visits to the doctor can result can you spot the differences why exactly is this happening one reason you'll tell me is that the poor baby is not healthy why maybe because the poor baby is exposed to a more hazardous environment compared to the other baby one water from a nearby stream can contain contaminants when it's not boiled the contaminants also won't die and they will infect the baby two smoking it's one of the worst forms of air pollution it's bad for the smoker it's worse for those who live around the smoker it can cause severe respiratory problems in the tiny baby's lungs three too many people in the room so even if one person has an infection maybe a virus because they're living so closely the virus can actually enter the baby's body and cause loose motions or viral cold or viral fever it is also possible yes that this baby has some genetic difference that makes it more likely to actually suffer from loose motions and fever as compared to the healthier baby but if the virus was not there the fever and the loose motions would not have shown up right so the virus trigger was needed this virus trigger is called the immediate cause of the disease and the genetic difference becomes a contributory cause so two things immediate cause contributory cause the cause that plays a role in actually disrupting the body's normal functioning what is the take away from this from this whole thing which i discussed right now good food is essential for good health clean environment is essential for good health a healthy atmosphere happy atmosphere is essential for good health the drainage system is important the garbage clearing man is important the health of those around you is important because all of this is going to affect your health and decide if an infectious disease is lurking around the corner trying to catch you we just spoke about infectious diseases some diseases cannot be spread from one person to the other and that would fall into the category yes of non infectious diseases let's understand the difference between these two infect what does it mean it means to affect contaminate or spoil and that's exactly what an infectious disease does it spreads from person a to person b affects contaminates spoils the functioning of the cells of person b mostly microbes or microorganisms now for diseases that are not infectious non infectious disease they are not caused by infectious agents but their causes can vary they are mostly internal non infectious causes for example some cancers are caused by genetic abnormalities or differences a big word right with a great impact very very simple meaning changes in the genes in the chromosomes can cause malfunctioning of cells in the body like sickle cell anemia where the nice disc shaped saucer shaped red blood cells that lose their shape become sickle like or crescent moon like this is inherited is a huge huge problem because the cells can get stuck and cause blockages severe severe pain for those who have it 
then you have high blood pressure which can be caused by excessive weight stress and lack of exercise this may or may not be inherited but it is not infectious so to keep high blood pressure away you need to be active you need to get up you need to go you need to run you need to play and it's important that you learn like this because if you learn like this you're going to spend lesser time studying and more time playing